I believe unity is really the Lord's own heart for the body of Christ. If you look at John 17, the night before Jesus died, he prayed that they would be one so that the world would see that the Father had sent the Son. If you're truly going after God, you will get closer with people. And I think unity is found in that place, the pursuit of God. Oftentimes what happens is when people take their eyes off Jesus, they tend to light on other unimportant things like worldly success and finances or doctrinal issues which in the light of eternity aren't all that important. In one meeting they found out halfway through that I was a Catholic. The meeting stopped dead. Then one guy turned to the guy running the meeting and said, what's he doing here? I thought this was just going to be Christians today. Catholics don't believe in God, they're not Christian. They had a meeting. They apologised and the guy running the meeting asked me to leave. We're part of the body of Christ and we've all got different gifts, different charisms as it were, and so different churches and different Christian organisations will have different foci. Having said that, we need to celebrate what the other is doing, we need to pray for them, we need to financially support them where appropriate, and we always need to speak well of them. It's quite extraordinary that we have this opportunity to meet in the Great Hall in Canberra uh, at Parliament House for the National Day of Prayer and Fasting for the Repentance Service because within that, at that very core, we have that first step towards unity. Repentance is not just turning away from something but turning to. And so while we repent of disunity, we're turning to embrace each other, we're turning to affirm each other, we're turning to acknowledge each other. We're actually saying, I see you and I see you in Christ, and I think that's just wonderful. We say, Jesus, we've messed up. We've been looking at each other. It doesn't work. I want to affirm and ask forgiveness for those that Pentecostals have spoken poorly of, and at times extremely hurtfully. And as a public act of love and contrition and a longing to work together in unity, my dear brother in Christ, the Archbishop, will very bravely wash my feet. Brother, let me be your servant. Let me be as Christ to you. Please come as God calls you to serve one another in this way. We are pilgrims on a journey. Brother. I've got to drive all the way back to Sydney now. I've got a, a few hours ahead of me and I think I'm going to be smiling the whole way home.